Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today's video is going to be all about starting a Cartier collection. I would say that this is my most requested video, but it isn't. My most requested videos are always collection videos, but this is my number one most asked set of questions. I'm talking every single day I get messages, emails, DMs asking me about my Cartier collection. So I'm going to go over how um, the purchase process works, what to expect, and I'm going to talk about the pieces that I get asked the most about. I'm not going to be doing a collection video by any means today, but I will be sharing the ones that I get the most questions. I will also be turning the camera around doing some close-ups on those pieces and um, just letting you know all about what to expect if you've never shopped at Cartier before. Before we get into that, if you're new to my channel, welcome in. My name is Melinda. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. If you haven't done so already, I'd love it if you could just take one moment, hit that subscribe button down below, and let's get into this. I am going to be looking down a lot because I um, made notes, went through everything because I don't want to miss any points. So. I'm going to be answering all your questions today. So the um, love cuff is my number one question that I get, and I'm going to get to that one in a moment. So first, let's start with shopping at the boutique. My first experience was horrible. It was really bad. I've had very few um, bad luxury shopping experiences, but I was purchasing my husband um, a 25th wedding anniversary, a new wedding band. And it just was a really bad experience, and I ended up getting him one from a, another store, a platinum ring from David Yerman, and they were, it was wonderful. And I knew I wanted to purchase a bracelet. I wasn't sure, you know, if I wanted to get the love or the just un clue. Um, so when I was going back uh, to Las Vegas, they have, uh, they might have more than two Cartiers. There's only two that I know of. There's one at, um, at uh, Caesars Palace and there's at the forum shops and then there's one at the Wynn. I went online and I made an appointment so um, I wasn't sure what to expect because the first time was so awful and it was fabulous. I had just the best time. I stayed with this sales associate. He recently left um, but I, I just I loved shopping with him and everybody in the store was so so nice. Uh, when I went back recently and I wanted to buy um, the little earrings I have a video of. My ears are really red right now from blow drying my hair so I'll just insert a picture later but um, I had called to see because they were the single studs so I had called to see who had them and had them put on hold for me and I met the most lovely lady and this was at the forum shops and she's like you know you now have somebody to shop with. So I highly recommend making an appointment if you're going to go into the boutique, especially today. Um, even though I did not see any stores requiring masks anymore, I'm not positive about Chanel, but even Hermes did not make the customers wear masks anymore, nobody had open doors. Uh, every single store was letting people in and I don't know um, if this is still because of health reasons or if it's because of just the climate of what's going on in the world. Um, but I just got right in because I had that appointment and then somebody is already you know set to work with you. So they already know you know you can tell them what you're interested in. I highly highly recommend making an appointment. Um, I think you'll have a better experience. So now let's talk about the return policy. So they have changed this recently. It used to be if you purchased in the boutique you could only exchange for store credit. You can now get a full refund within 30 days as long as the item is pristine and um, in perfect condition. Online also has the 30-day policy, but the difference with online, they have a tag on the jewelry. And I believe I have video footage of this because I bought the Love Stud earrings that come as a pair. And um, there's a little tag on them that must remain attached. And when I called to make my return, 
Um, they told me, you know, make sure that the backs are on there correct so that they don't, you know, fly about during shipping back. And, you know, they want to, you know, it has to come back the same way that it came to you. But they do give you a prepaid label. And I did get a refund very quickly. So what to expect when you purchase? And I hope I have this footage again from online because I've only purchased from online once and there is no store in my area. And when my sales associate left, he asked if I wanted somebody else's uh, contact and I said, no, um, I just figured, you know, I just would ask later or whatever, but I decided I wanted these earrings. So I just ordered them online. Um, they come packaged beautifully. You get um, the shopping bag. You get, it's in, a, in case I don't have a video, <laughs> you will be watching me, but it's like shredded white paper to pad everything. And I had it gift wrapped. So it was in the, the white paper with the red wax seal. Now my latest purchase, and I will continue with what else you get too. My latest purchase I did not have um, wrapped like that because I wore the earrings out of the store. So, and also got the shopping bag um, in the store from my latest purchase, but they do send you that bag, which I think is a nice touch. Um, a lot of us don't have a Cartier in our state. The other thing you will get, and I'm just gonna share with you my last purchase, depending upon what you purchase, you will get a box and um, there is a hair in my lip, lip gloss. <laughs> you will get a box and in that box, there will be a, another box, the little drawer here kind of comes down and it doesn't matter what kind of a piece you get. It's the same type of a mechanism, little push button and you open it and this one is for the earrings. So it'll be bigger for a necklace, etc. What you also will receive depending upon which piece you got. And I think I brought out everything here. If you buy a ring, you will get this little pouch for traveling and it's very, very padded, which is nice. So you can put your ring in there if you need to. For bracelets and watches, you will get this pouch. I think for watches, I'm not positive. I put my watches in there. This one does say Cartier on the inside. These are velvet. And on the inside of this is a little padded pillow so you can put your bracelet on there. And then also inside of here you have these two compartments here so you could put rings or earrings or whatever you'd like in that. And then if you purchase a necklace you will receive this um, pouch here which has two snaps at the bottom. You open it up. This one also says Cartier. And this has a flat velvet um, padded uh, little board with two snaps. So it'll keep your necklace from tangling if you're traveling. So that's great. You get all of those. If you purchase something from the Love or the Just On Clue line, you will get a little booklet. And this is my Just On Clue booklet. I have no idea where my Love booklet is. I have no idea. I looked for it. It's somewhere, but it just goes through the history of it and um, it's just really interesting. It tells you how to put the bracelet on. Mine is the old style bracelet and I'll get to that in a moment. You will also get your receipt. So the current receipts come in this red envelope. These, uh, this receipt, um, and I have a lot of receipts that are in this white one. These are prior, what year did they change them? I'm really not sure what year that they changed them, but this is how they used to come. This is how they come now. You will also get an authenticity card. So they have changed that as well um, to where, let me pull them both out. This is the old school version right here where it's kind of, um, kind of like a modeled kind of paper with like a beige and it's got like a little print on it. And then the new version here is just um, just white and there is a little raised Cartier uh, seal on both of them. So that is the way that that comes. Now I'm not sure why they changed either one, but it doesn't bother me. Um, this is the first time I have pulled out my authenticity cards probably since uh, owning any of these pieces. So now where are we at? So that was the online. So I get asked a lot. So like I said, I'm gonna concentrate on the collections that I own. I own Love, Trinity, 
and um, just unclip. I get asked a lot, what do you think of the Cartier Clash collection? I think it's really cool. I was actually looking at the, they, um, it's, I think it's a new style. It's a soft uh, bracelet and I thought it was gorgeous. It's $8,000. I think they've just had a price increase or are about to just have one. I just, no, I don't like it that much. I do think it's pretty though, but I get asked that a lot. I really do like the Panther collection. I think it's beautiful. I really thought I was going to buy a Panther ring last year, but when I tried on the pet or the bracelet, I was going to get the bracelet. When I tried on the collection, it's just way too fancy for my lifestyle. It's way too bougie. It's gorgeous though. I do think that's beautiful, but I get asked that a lot. I think the cactus collection is beautiful. There's other collections. There's not a lot of jewelry that I don't think is beautiful, but it doesn't make it um, necessary, you know, necessarily something that works for me. So now let's get into the number one question that I get asked, which is about the love cuffs. So as you can see, I have on two love cuffs and I have on my Justin Clue, and I will, again, I will insert some close-ups. Um, the love sizing, if memory serves, because it has been quite a while since I have purchased these, the full love cuff, bracelet, not cuff, the full love bracelet, I would wear, I believe, a 17 in that. And um, the cuff, you go up one, so my cuffs are 18s. The Just Unclue, you go down one from the full love, so that is a 16. And so they fit very nicely. The other question that I get asked all the time is wearing all three together, do they roll over each other? They do not, but the first time I wore them together, they did. You have to put them in a certain order. The Just Unclue needs to be closest to your hand. Elsewise, these bracelets will move over it and you will get a lot more scratches on the bracelets. So now let's talk about why did I choose the cuff versus the full love. I cannot stand leaving jewelry on. It drives me up the wall, it just does. And I really, really contemplated the full love and what I recommend that you do is what I did. I took a David Yerman full bangle that you know goes all the way around and I wore this non-stop for six to eight weeks it drove me crazy <laughs> absolutely drove me crazy so I knew I wanted the ability to take it off so that's all a personal preference this is the same millimeter as the full love um, it is less expensive you do not have the screws um, it's you know it's, you're not having as much gold because it does not go all the way around um, cost was not an issue comfort to me was the issue for picking the cuffs and um, I have had zero regrets whatsoever without that about that the other question I get asked all the time and I've just told the sizes but I get asked this all the time what size what size what size um, it kind of isn't so helpful for me to tell you what size um, mine are because your wrists may be significantly smaller they might be a little bit larger they will help you in the boutique um, they will help you pick the size they will you know try it on and if you don't have a boutique near you online is wonderful I spent probably an hour online talking to the lovely lady when I was sending the earrings back asking her different questions about the earrings and she actually offered to meet me in Las Vegas and I didn't want to bother her so I just I went into the store but she was so 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 sweet they will help you choose what size is best for you um, the, you know there's a specific way you measure your wrist and all of our wrists also even though my wrists are five uh five point five five inches five five and a half inches even though my wrists are five and a half inches my wrists are very circular they're not oval most women men everybody most people's wrists are more flat you know more oval um, so I have a daughter, for example, who has a six inch wrist and my watches actually fit her better, even though her wrist is slightly larger than mine because the shape of her wrist. So they will help you with all of that. They're help, happy to send pictures and all of that kind of stuff. So I mean, I don't mind answering what size mine are, 
but it, you know, it might not be helpful for you. And they will also tell you if, if the guidelines are still the same, if they're still making them the same, they will let you know, you know, you need to go up or down because um, it's been a long time since I've purchased these. Something else to note about the cuffs, um, if you do gain or lose weight, you can manipulate these. You can squeeze them in to make them a little tighter and you can pull them a little bit to make them a little bit looser. I've never pulled them to make them looser. I have squeezed them in a little bit to make them a little bit tighter. And my sales associate told me that that is absolutely perfectly fine. And something else to note about these, um, he also told me I was looking at the love uh, bracelet that's similar to the love necklace that I'm wearing, you know, on a very dainty chain. He said, absolutely do not stack those together. Now, I'm not sure how that would work. Um, it might be fine if you had the full love bracelet on, but he told me it would get caught in these and it would snap that piece in two. He said, don't do it or wear it by itself. But he actually just encouraged me not to make the purchase at all because, you know, he probably thought I would stack them anyways. <laughs> so now let's get into the Just Unclue. And this is where I'm gonna have to put in some uh, close-ups of this. So I, th there was nothing but the full size one. There was no smaller one. This was all that there was when I purchased mine. When I purchased mine, they had already rolled out the new closure system. I don't like that system for me because for whatever reason I can't get it open. <laughs> I was able to get it open um, once. I would sit there and he would show me how to do it and it, it, it can't be that hard. I don't know what it was. I just could not figure it out. So I'm going to I'm going to turn the camera around and show you. There is a little hole and you put it in there and then you just push it up and it's extremely secure. But he said people were very unhappy with this particular closure. Uh, they felt like it was coming off of their wrists and that um, they switched to this other closure. It's supposed to be more secure. It just, and when I look at it, I, like at the last time I tried it, I could open it. But I mean, we're talking, I don't know how many visits I went in because I was thinking of adding another one. And I eventually decided not to. I got one of the last in the country. I'm not sure if I said that with the old closure and with my size. I think there was like two left in the country because they had already rolled out the new ones. I'm not saying it's a bad closure whatsoever. Um, you just, your, your brain may work different than mine and you may just click it open. And I'm sure, I'm sure if I sat and really, you know, looked at it, I did open it the last time, but I am happy to have the older closure and um but if i want another one that is the only option you you've got to go with that new closure and just figure it out but um so that is that about the closure and let's see now let's talk about rings and sizing rings so i am wearing just the regular love ring the um i guess it's just the regular size you cannot size it up um, that cannot be done. To size it down, I wrote it on here, um, you will have to utilize a liner or beads. So it'll be on the inside of the ring. Um, my mother-in-law has a ring like that and so I know what it, I know exactly what they're talking about because I saw it on her not too long ago, but it's just little beads on the inside of the ring that will make it smaller, but you cannot actually size it. As for the Trinity, I get asked about this one as well. This cannot be sized at all. This cannot be sized. So that is kind of a bummer, you know, if you, know, you change sizes and, and we do during life. I mean, it happens, um, but yes, so they cannot be sized. I'm not sure about the Just Unclue ring. Um, I'm not positive about that one. I didn't ask about that one. So now let's talk about necklaces. I am wearing my love necklace. This is the number one necklace that I get the questions about the most. Um, do I love it still? Do I regret it? Do I enjoy it? I do, I'm very happy to have it. I think it's beautiful. It has a single diamond on the side. Again, I will have to insert close-ups. There's no way you'll be able to see it. And then there's a tiny diamond in the center. So for necklaces, they will, free of charge, add a two-inch extender. 
and depending upon the length of the necklace, you will get two to three jump rings. So the longer necklaces, they won't add an extra jump ring, you will get two. The shorter necklaces, you'll get three. So you get um, 16, 17, and 18 inches, which I think is fabulous. And I think that um, why not get the extra gold and why not have the versatility? A lot of people do not utilize this service and I don't quite understand why because depending upon your neckline, you may wanna wear it in you know the little hollow of your throat or you may have like you know a chunkier sweater on and you may want to wear it longer. I just think, why not? They do it, so go ahead. I do believe that there is no time limitation on this. I know with Van Cleef and Arpels, they are very strict with their time limitations. Um, many of you saw my uh, Alhambra bracelet um, telling about how it quite didn't fit and um, somebody reached out to me and um, actually it was Kim from um, KK, uh, I can't quite remember, LV, <laughs> just too many initials, I'll write it down. But Kim reached out to me and said that they have a new um, policy where um, for one year that they will shorten that bracelet for you. So that started this January and I reached out to my sales associate and she said they retroacted it to October of last year. I purchased mine in May and in June. You would think anything within a year up till, you know, that year, but no, they're not doing it that way. So Van Cleef is a lot more um, persnickety than Cartier when it comes to doing things like that. And so engraving, let's talk about engraving. All of my love pieces are engraved. They all have something written on the inside of them. That is a free service, and that is also a service for the lifetime of the piece. Um, you do not have a time limit on that either. So I think that is really, really great. Um, I like that a lot. So what else do I have on here? Okay, scratches. I get asked all the time. Do they get scratches? Yes, 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 they get scratches. Of course they get scratches. You take any shiny piece of metal and it is going to get scratched at some point. It does not bother me at all, but when I got my very first one, that was a lot of money. It was my first, you know, first really expensive, you know, luxury jewelry and I was freaked out <laughs> and I texted my sales associate. I'm like, should I just buff it with the cloth? Should I, what should I do? And I love his response and this is how I live now with my jewelry. Wear it and enjoy it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and they will buff it out for you for free if you would like it to be, I think it is for free. Um, may, I, I'm pretty sure they will buff it out for you. But when they do that because it is gold and not platinum unless you have platinum, you do lose some metal. The only um, fine metal that you do not lose uh, metal with when it gets nicked or anything is platinum. It just kind of disperses into itself like water. It's a very unique metal. So, you know, unless they were really, really, really scratched, I don't think I would do that. And they're going to get scratched again. That's just the nature of it. Uh, what else do I get asked? Oh, the love earrings. Um, I have those on and again I will do some close-ups. I get asked um, all the time, do I still like them? Yes. Um, these and the Trinity are my favorite. I think I like the Trinity earrings better actually just because I have a lot of different colors of gold and being the tricolor they go with everything. But I am a hoop girl through and through and I get asked why um, I chose this size over the smaller size and did I ever consider the smaller size? I did not uh, ever consider the smaller size because the smaller size, number one, it's smaller. <laughs> and number two, it has a butterfly um, clasp and these have lever backs on them and I just prefer a lever back. I have always liked lever back earrings. You don't have to worry about losing them. They're very secure on your ear. They're not going to fall off or anything. And um, the other thing to note about the Love Hoop earrings is that they are a specific right and left earring. They are angled slightly. The Trinity earrings are not. The Trinity earrings have the exact same 
uh, backings. They doesn't make a difference which ear you put them in, but the loved ones are specific. So usually when I would put them back into the case, um, like I'll show you, this is the one that the, the button earrings came in, but I would put, you know, the, the right and the left, you know, I would take them off. And so I know when to put them back on, you know, that way. So that's kind of, but you can see visually, you don't have to do that. You can keep them in whatever you want. Um, what else do I get asked? Do I feel like, oh, 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 I totally forgot. When, um, when you get your, um, your items, you will get a cleaning kit. Uh, that should have been at the beginning of the video. I totally forgot. I did get one online and I did get one in the store. Uh, they will run out of these and this is like pre-COVID. They'll just, they'll just be out of them. So they'll give you one later if they don't have one. This is the best jewelry cleaning ever. This is the best jewelry cleaning ever. So you do get that. I totally left that out. You get the cleaning kit. So um, do I feel like they're worth it? Would I repurchase them today? I get asked that a lot. Yes, um, I, you know, my whole adult life, I wanted Van Cleef and Arpels. I wanted the 20 piece Alhambra. I wanted all the bracelets. I just wanted all of that. I thought it was so beautiful. And I love my Van Cleef pieces, I really do. But I love my Cartier pieces so much more. They're just me. I like, a lot of people are not fond of the Just Unclue because it is just a nail. And a lot of people don't like the love. But they're so simple and kind of almost even industrial looking. I just love them because I am so casual. And while I think the Alhambra is so beautiful and so feminine, I honestly just don't, I don't know where I would wear a 20 motif necklace. I don't, you know, I tried one on in the store and it's stunning, um, but I'm like, in reality, where am I gonna wear that? Whereas I have on my love necklace today and I wear this all the time. It just works better with my lifestyle. So I have zero regrets on any of my Cartier pieces. I don't really see me adding any more. I think the earrings that I added will be my last piece. Um, and if you missed that unboxing, I am just going to really quickly, and like I said, I'll, I'll put a picture in. There are the studs that come as a set, and those ones have a round flat back, that, and that's the ones that I ordered online. Um, and those, the, the posts are slightly longer, and um, I wanted them for my second piercing, and your ear gets smaller, you know, in general, your earlobes will get smaller as you go up, and it just fell forward where you could see the post. And the ones that I have have a screw back on them. And they um, are, you. sometimes they'll, they'll pull forward a little bit. When I was getting my hair washed, um, my hairstylist was a little concerned. I'm like, oh no, those are screwed in. They are very secure, but they're a little bit shorter. So, and the, and the millimeters a little bit smaller, which I think works better when you're wearing two earrings together. But they're very comfortable to sleep in. Um, if you're looking for something to leave on all the time, I highly, highly recommend them. And then the other thing that I hear all the time and get asked is, it's so basic. It's so basic. It's so done. Everybody has it. Everybody has a love bracelet. Everybody has Cartier. Everybody has it. I hate nothing more than the word basic. I don't care what you're buying. I don't care if it's a Neverfull. You know I don't like the Neverfull. It has nothing to do with it being basic. It just isn't for me. I just can't stand it. No person on this planet is basic and nothing that you choose to like is basic either. In real life, I have one friend that owns Cartier pieces. That's it, one, my friend Linda, nobody else. I have never seen anybody wearing Cartier around here. I'm sure they are. It's not like I'm scanning people's wrists or necks, but it's not like I see it coming and going everywhere. There are certain bags that I see coming and going everywhere, but if I want it, I don't care. I'm going to get it. I, there's a reason you see some of these pieces coming and going everywhere because they are amazing and they're good quality or whatever it may be. Um, these are solid. These are well-made. Uh, this is truly the luxury experience. I have talked very recently about Chanel and I actually just did a poll on my Instagram asking, you know, that Chanel video, 
percentage wise of likes versus dislikes was my highest liked video ever. I know I offended a few people, but most people agreed with me. It's not a luxury experience anymore. When I went in to buy these earrings, I don't know what I expected because you know that store hadn't treated me nicely in the past, but um, we got to sit down the whole time if I wanted to browse, but I didn't. And she brought everything out. Um, we got some water and, and it was just, it was so nice. She helped me put them on. They're very tiny. The little balls are very tiny. I got this one and I couldn't get this one. But the whole thing of it, the packaging, the way I was treated, it is still a luxury experience. And I always say gold over leather, always gold over leather. If you're debating, do I really want you know this bag? I really want this piece of jewelry. And you're going back and forth between the two. I love bags, but I'm always going to pick jewelry first. Let's say you're at a restaurant and, and you're eating some cheese dip. All you gotta do is wash this off if you accidentally drop some on it. You get some on your lambskin bag, you're in big trouble. There's no color transfer here. The worst thing that's gonna happen is a few little scratches and that's not a big deal whatsoever. But I hope this was helpful if you are at all interested in pursuing uh, purchasing some Cartier pieces. I know their prices have gone up and my attitude right now with all of this is if you really want whatever it may be and you know whatever it is if it's in your means and you've been wanting it for a long time get it just get it because it's just going to keep going up 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 you know i just i strongly strongly feel that way me and my girlfriend talk about that all the time it's like if you really just just get it <laughs> we've never i don't think any of us have ever seen such insane price increases in such a short time span for so many luxury brands but that is just that's just my opinion but I'm happy to have what I have and I, I don't think I will be adding any more because I mean at some point you know I'm going to run out of wrist here so <laughs> I have stacked and I will try to insert a picture of it I have put my um my new diamond bracelet with it and it does work I haven't worn it out of the house so I'm not sure <laughs> about if this would you know roll over it or not but um but i just want to show you i got a lot of movement with that you don't want them so tight where they don't they don't move you want them to be comfortable so and i can't think of anything else i think i i think i covered it all but i hope that was helpful and i hope you have an amazing day today take care bye bye